Hi, welcome to another video of Word Automation with Studio X. Let's start the automation by creating a blank task and let's name it as Word Robot and click on the create button. Meanwhile, it is creating the workspace for us. Let's see what we are trying to do today. So we have these files. One is a Word template and one is an Excel file and we have two image files. This is how the Word file looks like. So as you can see, there are a few placeholders in terms of the text, company name, address, seller name and address. And we want to update these values from the Excel file. So in the contract data sheet, we have all of these detail here. So you want to pull these details from here and paste it here. Then we want to insert the data table. For this, we will be using another sheet of the Excel, which is goods. So now as you can see, there is a data table. So we will be putting this data table into the word template here. So this text will be replaced with a data table. Next is the total value that you want to update, which is also coming from the Excel and this particular cell. And the next thing is, and the next thing is the exchange rate. So this exchange rate we have to fetch from the web browser by, by searching the Euro exchange rate. So it should give us the current exchange rate. So we'll be fetching this value and pasting it to the world template. Then we have these two image files that we have to update by buyer and the seller logos. And then finally the date, which should be coming from this particular seat and this cell. So let's see this in the Studio X. Uh, so let's start with first fetching the value from the web browser. So for this, we'll use an activity called use application browser. So pull this to your workflow and indicate your application on the screen. So this is where your, your application is. So indicate and click anywhere on the screen. It will capture the URL as well as your screenshot of the, the application. So here is the URL and this is the image. So now, as you can see, we have done connecting the browser. Next thing is you want to take this particular text and save it in our workflow, for which we'll be using an activity called get text. So search in the activity panel. And there you can find the get text activity, drop inside the use browser resource only, and then click on the indicate the element and this is what you want to fetch. So make is add as a target. So click on your target. But also as you can see, this, this particular value is appearing twice on the image. So it is here as well as here, but you want to fetch it from here. Okay, or maybe you can fetch from here, but as of now we want to take any value that comes here. So for this to uniquely identify your target, you have to attach it with an anchor. So this will work as an anchor. So value that is relative to this particular anchor is what you want to fetch. So this is your anchor and this is your target. Once you're okay with attaching both of them, click on the confirm button. So where you want to save the value that you're getting from the web browser. So click on the plus button and say save for later use. You can name it anything. So let's say it as the change rate and click on the okay button. Now you can use this particular exchange rate anywhere in your workflow. So we will collapse this. Next thing we have to do is connect with a word template which you want to update. For this, we'll be using an activity called use your use word file. Yeah, correct. Use word file is the resource that helps us to connect with the word template. So click on the browse button where your file is locally saved. So this is a path where we have saved all our automation files. So copy this path and give it to the Studio X. So here your file is that you want to update and now click on open with it. Yeah, so it has now attached your, your use word file resource with this file. So now everything that you want to do with this file should be coming under this particular resource. Next thing that you want to do is you want to read this Excel file because you want to fetch the values from this file and put it into the word. So for this, we'll have to use the another resource known as use Excel file. So if you go to the Excel card, you can see the another resource. Now drop it again inside. Make sure that you are putting the use Excel file resource inside the use word file resource so that all the values from the Excel file are accessible to the word file. So now let's browse to the Excel file as well pasting the same path where your, your file is. So this is a file, which is gonna be the input. 
and you do not have to change any settings here. So we are done attaching with the Excel file as well. So we have both of these file in a hand. And now next thing what we want to do is now start updating this template. Let's start with the company name first. So we want to replace this text with the value from the Excel file. So we'll reuse an activity called replace text. So if you go to the word card, then you have an activity called replace text in document, place it inside your workflow. And then what the word you want to search for. So we want to search for the company name. So copy the exact name and search for, click on plus button text and give what you want to replace with. So company name and with what value you want to replace, click on plus button, indicate on your exit. And now there you go. So if you see company name is in the B2 cell. So click on the B2 cell and click on confirm button. As you can see, it has taken the value of Excel, contract data, the sheet name and B2 is the cell name. So what it is gonna do is it will replace this particular value with this. Something that we do with the word as well. Now the next thing again, similarly, we have to do for the four other fields as well. So we'll be using the same activity called replace text. Just copy this value and paste again in the workflow. Make sure this replace all button uh, is, is unchecked if your value is appearing more than once. So if the company name in your document is appearing more than one, it will replace all of these values. So make sure that if you want to update only the unique value, uncheck this particular checkbox. So now we want to replace the next value is the company address. So again, copy the value that you want to replace and go to plus button text and there you go, the company address and the value that you want to replace with is inside the Excel, indicate where it is and it is in the C2 cell. Click on the confirm button. Again, copy the same activity because we are doing the same thing. And the value that has to be updated now is the seller name. So again, copy the placeholder value and go to the Studio X. Again, do the same thing. And here you go, seller name. Done, click on save button, replace all, let me just uncheck it. And seller name is where it is in your Excel and D2 cell, click on confirm button again. Now copy the activity for the last field which is the seller address. So again, copy the value and go back to the replace text, click on plus button, text, and there you go, the seller address. Click on save and you want to replace the value from the Excel file and the E2 cell is where your value is, then click on confirm button. Now, all of these four fields will be updated now. Next thing is we want to insert the table here. For this, we'll be using an activity called insert table in document. So drag it again to your workflow. Table to insert. Now where your table is, click on plus button and the Excel is what you can see. Now it has given you two sheets that are available in your Excel. So both sheet table one is what we want to use. So now we are done with this. Insert relative to a text, right? And text we search for is the insert table here. So we want to replace this text with the table. So insert relative to text and the text value is this. And position where we want to insert is replace. So you can choose before, after, but we actually want to replace the text. So we are done with placing our data table or the table inside this particular Word document. Next thing is we have to update this total value. Again, we'll be using the same activity called replace, sorry, replace text in document. So there you go. Next thing is total that you want to change. So copy it and do the same thing. Click on plus button and there you go. The total and the value is coming from the Excel file, indicate in Excel inside the goods sheet in the E11 cell. Click on the confirm button and it has taken the same good sheet and the E11 cell. Now, the next thing that we have to do is update this particular field, which is the exchange rate, euro exchange rate current. So again, we will be using the same activity, replace text, drag it here, search for, then mention your 
your, your text from the word and then replace with. Now, this time we are not taking the value from the Excel. We will be using the value we fetched from the web page and saved it for the later use. So if you go to use save value, you can see the exchange rate, which we saved earlier. Click on this, so it will replace it. Make sure you uncheck it so that there are not the, all the values being updated. So let me just make sure this, and now we are done. And the next thing is we want to update these two logos, right? It means we want to insert a picture for which we'll be using an activity called a replace picture. And there you go. To replace a particular picture inside your Word document, you will need a alt text value. For this, you have to go to your picture and right click and click on edit alt text. Once you click on this, you can see your alt text here. So logo seller alt text picture is what you want to replace. So click on plus button in text and give the alt text of the picture and click on the save button. Replace picture. Now you have to browse to where your file is stored, the image file. So we have to change the path here because we have saved our image file to this path. So we have to update the seller logo. So let's take the seller logo image and we are done. Again, we'll be using the same activity for the another one for which we will be using the replace picture again. And there we go. And let's find out the alt text for this, which is now the logo buyer. Copy this and again, paste it to your activity. And done. Browse to your, to your buyer logo now where your file is. So there we go and paste your path and this time the buyer logo is what we want to paint and yes we are done the next and the last that we want to update is the date so as you must be aware of now so now we'll be using the last activity called the replace text in document again and we want to replace this particular value make sure there are no extra spaces and all and replace it with the value from again from the exit indicate in exit and yeah date is here in your contact data sheet and a to set so this is your value click on the confirm button now our automation workflow is done we are inserting text image and table inside a word document from the excel file and a browser so this is how it looks like and this is your excel field not the Excel, but a Word file. And let's see how it's gonna be updated. So we click on the run button and let's watch it. So it is coming to the web page and fetching the, the latest your exchange rate. And then it will be going back to the Word to update the same. And there you go. Okay, so the last one was successful. And as we can see, our Word file is, is completely done with the updates. And there we have the name and the addresses and a table, the total value, the exchange rate, which we have fetched 88.89. So that's correct. And we have the images of the seller and buyer and the date as well as updated. That's all for now. Thank you.